Peepop dreads the twice monthly ritual of having his head shaved. The novice monk, aged 15, has lived in this temple for two years in northern Thailand. But he doesn't want to be here and he doesn't want to be a monk. He wants to be a woman. I didn't want to have this hairstyle. I wanted to have long hair. Thailand has one of the world's largest transgender populations and Thais are broadly accepting of the so-called third sex. But Peepop's family aren't so liberal-minded. They didn't like him putting on makeup or wearing girls' clothes, so they sent him here from Bangkok in the hope that monkhood would make him a man. I'm so jealous of other people. My friends can go out, but I have to stay inside the temple. It's so boring. I want to go out too. But the young monk must sit through etiquette classes in a special course put on by the school for particularly effeminate students. They're tested on what the teachers deem appropriate behaviour for men and monks. And that means neither wearing makeup, putting on perfume, nor becoming overly emotional. Buddha didn't want women or ladyboys to join the monkhood because their behaviour is disturbing and confusing. They can't control their emotions. But he also admits the gender etiquette course isn't very successful. Half of the novice monks they've tried to change have gone on to live as women. And in the privacy of his own bedroom, Peepop enjoys some forbidden pleasures. I don't want to have a greasy or dirty face or have a dark complexion. He dreams of the day he can finish school, leave the temple and finally shed his monk's robes. The first thing I will do is shout, scream out loud. I'll finally be able to be myself again. But that won't be for another three years. Until then, Peepop will keep counting down the days and hiding his or her true self.